Hey guys, so I am an educator at Unacademy and you can follow me over there if you are interested to watch videos on basic concepts of chemistry or physical chemistry topics. You can also recommend this to your juniors and to your younger siblings, right? All you need to do is download the Unacademy learning app and watch my videos over there. Now let's just begin with our topic. Now let's talk about your important part that is XRD pattern. So generally when you do XRD of a crystal, how do you identify, with, first of all, how do you identify whether a crystal is simple, cubic, body, body centered or face centered, you identify it with the help of XRD, alright, you identify it with the help of XRD. Now here the Bragg's law comes into the picture, so n lambda equal to 2d sin theta, alright, so, um, so now what you do is, you need to find out the value of sine square theta. So sine square theta because in XRD we measure the angle, the diffracted angle. So you need to measure the value of sine square theta. So to find out the value of sine square theta, sine theta equal to n lambda by 2d, right? n lambda by 2d. So if you square this, sine square theta is equal to n square lambda square upon 4d square. Right, 4d square and what did I discuss so if I replace this value uh, over here we get sine square theta equal to this value um, n square lambda square upon 4 into into a square upon h square plus k square plus l square this is what we get okay this is what we are going to get now what you need to assume this n square upon lambda square upon 4 a square this is a constant because edge length will be a constant value um, n will be a constant value lambda will be a constant value and 4 is obviously a constant so this whole i can write it as a constant called k so n square upon lambda square upon uh, so this n square lambda square upon 4 a square this i am writing as um, value of k so this is this is k right and uh, Okay, so this is this whole is k. So this can be written as sine square theta equal to k h square plus k square plus l square, right? So this is what we need to get. Now, what is the significance of this? So let's take different planes. Let's take different planes. So let's say, let's take different planes. Let's say we have uh, one one. First, of first plane that we can have is 100. Zero, zero. So, if you calculate the value, it will come out to be if you put 1 over here, h is h value is 1, k and l value is 0. So, this will become equal to 1. So, 1k. So, sine square theta equal to 1k. So then, for system, let's say 110, the value will be 2k. Right? Then, for 1, uh, 1, 1, the value will be 3k then for one um, then uh, next one will be 211 so the value will be 2 plus 4 6k sorry i'm missing out something sorry yeah 200 zero, zero. so the value will be 4k right then 210 value will be 5k then we have 211 value will be 6k and then we do not have 7k we do not have a line at 7k why do not we have a line at 7k because you try and arrange hkl such that the value value comes out to be 7 h square plus k square plus l square try it out and find out the value 7 it will never never come out to be 7 so 7k cannot be an answer so the next one that we have is uh, next one that we can have is 2 2 0 so this will be 8k so 7k is missing and this sequence goes on like that so we have 1k 2k 3k 4k 5k 6k and 8k we do not have 7k now um, okay so now 100 zero, zero, um, okay now what you need to know is what I have written over here that for simple cubic for simple cubic the diffraction lines will be observed at all points the diffraction lines will be observed at this point so it will be observed observed at this point this point this point this point this point like that it will be observed for all points so for simple cubic if you see a line at all the points a diffraction line uh, 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 you if you see a line in the xrd pattern at all the points then the crystal is simple cubic for body centered the sum of all the three miller indices should be even for body centered 
the sum of h k and l should be even so over here if you try and find out the sum of h k l it is odd because the sum will be one if you try and find out over here the sum will be even because one plus one is two so for this for it will be observed at 2k the line for body center will be observed at 2k then one 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 so the total total uh, value becomes odd because it becomes three so again it will not show a value over here then over here the sum becomes two plus zero plus zero two so two is an even number and i've written that if sum of all the three miller indices is even then it will be showing body centered pattern i mean it should it, it would be showing a peak so we'll have a peak over here then two one zero two plus one three again there will be no peak over here at two one one again we'll observe a peak because two plus one plus one four so if you see there is a pattern at 2k 4k 6k right then at 8k also it will show because 2 plus 2 4 4 is again an even number so it will show at 8k also right so it will show at 8k also so there's a pattern it will show after every two uh, lines so like it, it is showing at 2k then 4k then 6k then 8k then 10k then 12k so you you can identify that it's a body center because you'll observe a line after alternate values so you'll observe at 2k then 4k then 6k then 8k then 10k 12k 14k like that all right and uh, okay so this is body centered and uh, okay all right so now we need to talk about um face centered so in face centered what is the deal the face center says that h comma k comma l should be all even or all odd now here they are not talking about the sum in body centered they were talking about the sum of mirror indices here he's the the criteria is um, individual values of h k l individual values of h k l should be all even or the individual individual values of h k l should be all odd all right so this is the criteria so over here if you see zero you have to consider as an even number all right zero you have to consider as an even number so over here we have odd even even so this is not the case here we have odd odd even again not the case here we have all the three odds one 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 all the three numbers are odd all the three million indices are odd so you will observe a pattern at 3k then what about 200 all three are even i told you to take zero to be even so 200 all three are even so you'll observe a pattern over here as well right then 210 so this is odd if you have even and odd so again you you would not observe a peak over here for fcc then we have again even odd odd all three should be even or all three should be odd a mix cannot be there right so this is also not the case 220 you'll observe because there are all the three numbers are even so you'll observe at 8k so 3k 4k 8k so this is how the pattern will be in in a xrd this is how you'll observe the pattern for the um, fcc uh, face centered uh, cubic lattice right so this is how you observe the patterns and this is how you can actually experimentally say that whether a crystal is fcc bcc or simple cubic um, if i talk about the xrd uh, on the on the y axis we have intensity on, and on the x axis we have the angle so we have the angle on, over here and over here we have the intensity right intensity so over here we have the intensity and over here we have the angle so how do you measure um, so you'll, you'll see patterns like this it's these you observe certain line, lines like this in the xrd pattern and let's say uh, one line corresponds to one one zero then one line corresponds to um uh, sorry let's call, let's say one line corresponds to one 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 then two zero zero then two two zero so if you see lines like this you can say that this is face centered now why is there a, why is there a change in the intensity the xrd pattern that you'll observe for a face centered because you can you can determine from the value of angle theta the angle that this is face centered because you'll only observe for these kind of miller indices now uh, sometimes what happens is you'll you have you're seeing that some patterns some lines are intense and some lines are no, not that intense they're diffused so the reason for that is it depends on the electron density so in case from a particular uh, particular side the electron density is quite high so uh, 
there the intensity is going to be high so from a particular plane if the if the number of electrons if the number if the electron density at that particular point point or that particular plane is more so the pattern the pattern will be more intense that is why if you do not see the value of hydrogen in xrd patterns in xrd diffraction you cannot observe hydrogen because hydrogen only has one electron and because of that you are not able to uh, you know the 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 peaks are not that intense and you are not able to observe the value of hydrogen you cannot observe where the hydrogen is located uh, by doing xrd diffraction you can predict all the other atoms where they are existing but you cannot uh, uh, find where the hydrogen is located and for for that you need to know neutron diffraction you have to do neutron diffraction right so xrd xrd is applicable to almost all other atoms apart from hydrogen uh, and if you need to find out the position of hydrogen in a particular molecule then you need to do neutron diffraction analysis right so this is where neutron diffraction analysis comes into the picture and that is why it's important because it tells you the position of hydrogen as well right so this was the whole video and i hope this concept was useful to you this is very important concept it's a very very important concept and um, if you want to do questions related to this i'll also be doing questions you can find uh, you can go to my unacademy profile for which i'll give the link over here and go to my unacademy profile and there i'll be solving questions on solid state 